This is the reservation calendar in Eleanor. I'm going to take you through now how it works and what you can do in it. Notice the dates will show across the top, highlighting the weekends um, in orange. You have a calendar in here, so you can see what all the symbols mean. So for example, green means confirmed, orange means unconfirmed, so no money's been taken against the reservation. Purple means checked in, blue means checked out, and you'll notice that there's some patterns on there as well. These work in a way where uh, they are accessible, so if you have, for example, a colorblind, it can help you to see what's going on. And there's other uh, symbols as well, such as do not move, add-ons, notes, guest or company, owner, different statuses like on and off the market. Canva itself is lazy loading, so you can scroll down, you can see it, it will uh, load quickly for you. Um, here we have a number of reservations. There are filters that work within the calendar. So here we have different areas, the types, like you know, one bedroom, two bedroom, or double room, any owners. And what we can do is we can use a combination of filters. So if I want to see just one area, which could be a building or a location, I can filter in there. I've now got three types within that one bed to two bed in the studio. And if I use other filters that we set up, so these are custom filters. Uh, here I want to see um, this area, this building, ones that have balconies. And there it's presenting me with the results for that. If I hover over a booking, then I will see uh, some information around the reservation, like the name, the source, if it's linked to a company or not, the amount of the reservation. I can move bookings within the calendar. So if I click on a booking and I click move, and it will tell me if there's a price difference or not, and whether I want to accept or not accept the price difference. So here I'm just moving the reservation down the line. You can also displace bookings from the calendar. So here the reservation is now displaced. I can click back on the reservation to place it back into the calendar. You can see the calendar is reloading. Here we've got a reservation which is not yet confirmed because there's been no money that's taken against it. And if I go back in dates and I look at the whole of the calendar again, you can start to see that there's blue reservations which are checked out. Like that. You can obviously change the date in the calendar to jump to the latest date and you can also look at different views, anything from seven days all the way through to 62 days. It will uh, change depending on the on the size of the screen that you've got, the size of the screen on the device that you're using. Here you've got how many left to sell on that day, so we've got one, one left to sell there, two in this category here. You can also change the status of a room from clean to dirty within the calendar, as well as in other places in Eleanor. If you want to make a reservation, you can actually click on the calendar here and we get some guide information. This is available for six nights and there's a guide rate on that day of 110 and the minimum stay is two nights. I can jump straight into making a reservation from there and it will take me through to make a reservation with Eleanor. I'll jump back on that because we're just showing the calendar here at the moment. And I can also take something off the market. So I can update the status. So let's just take this off the market for a couple of days. Say so it's in maintenance, broken shower. Just like that. If I was making a reservation, um, let's make a reservation here. can make a reservation quickly from the calendar. So let's just make a simple straightforward one. Link to a guest, that's the amount of the money, and save that and just see how that goes into the calendar. Just need to select a source. There we go, it's got in as orange because it hasn't been any money that's been transacted against it. It'll be automatically transacted if there's a saved card. We go and process it from there. The calendar is always accessible here 
from the menu wherever you are within Eleanor.